Wagwan, everybody. I am your Jamaican queen, Miss Y. You are tuned into How I See It TV, and this is a thought clip. Y'all, I'm on my lunch break, and I just saw on the OMFG reality um, blog on Instagram and on Bossip that the promo pictures and the press release for the new season of Love and Marriage Huntsville has just dropped. And y'all, I have a lot of thoughts so let's get into it because this is the thought clip after all so first thing that stood out to me was why is melody at the back oh why is she not front and center and um one of my subscribers when i posted this to my community wall said that there's another picture where melody is at the front so i have to go and find that but i'm giving y'all my first honest reaction and my first honest reaction is one oh they're in black and white so did they just steal melody's idea because the first person that we saw from love and marriage huntsville in the black and white of it all is melody so did they do a production meeting and say okay it's gonna be the theme for this season is black and white and then melody started wearing black and white or did melody do the um live podcast with carlos king and reveal that she's in her black and white era and then production said okay then everybody's gonna be in their black and white era too because that's what it's looking like it's given they took melody's idea and applied it to the entire cast so now everybody is in black and white which is crazy to me second um second thing i said was okay why is martel in the front and melody at the back why is kimmy front and center she doesn't give anything the show is centered around melody you can't take that away from her even if you are a hater she is the fan favorite she's the one that brought the idea of a show from huntsville um to carlos and then the show became love and marriage huntsville majority of what we loved about love and marriage huntsville in the beginning was because it was centered around melody being transparent about the things that were happening in her life um the show literally was built on the backs of the then holds sharing the ups and downs of their marriage and as i said melody is the fan favorite there's no taking that away from her so if you're sending around promo pics why is the star of the show not front and center and why is martel front and center <laughs> why is kimmy front and center like i I don't understand it but as i said somebody said that there is another picture where melody is front and center and as i said i'm at work i'm on my lunch break and i'm just trying to get this video done and up to just keep up the momentum because i'm sure other content creators are also posting about this so omfg reality tv i'm um, on ig they also posted the well a portion of the press release that they got from Bossip and they also sourced um added as their source own tv and own keep it real and part of the official press release says destiny is back plus two new couples ken and trisha about the new season, Martel faces legal troubles. Stormy and Courtney discover an unexpected love triangle as they reconnect with old friends. Destiny returns with a splash to confront her ex-boyfriend, who is now married to a former producer of the show. Meanwhile, Letitia and Marcel struggle with the pros and cons of working with family on Maurice and Kimmy's new investment property. Also, Melody takes the ladies away to a tropical isle to work on their friendships where everyone's past comes to head. So what it's looking like is that this is the new couple, Ken and Trisha. And um, we don't know anything about them, so there's not much to say. I'm wondering if 
they are being brought in as friends of Stormy and her husband. But I thought the new couple would have been Sonny and Moses. So this is really interesting to me that they're introducing a brand new couple to the show. So let's just hit pause. Let's wait to see what they have to offer. As I said, we know nothing about them. So there's not much commentary that I can give outside of Harpo, who these people <laughs> So then I went to Bossip online to see what their what the full press release had to say and you know it basically says a press release reports that season 5 of Love and Marriage Huntsville will uncover many secrets including legal troubles for Martel and we already know what those legal troubles are and Destiny going toe to toe with her ex-boyfriend who married a former LAMH producer like that's ridiculous to me so Y'all just said, Sonny, a former producer of Love and Marriage Huntsville, marrying a former castmate's ex. And then them bringing that former castmate back to create a whole storyline around that to me is like some bottom of the barrel stuff. You're telling me that this is what Love and Marriage Huntsville has come to? Like, some love and hip-hop type stuff because as i've said in another video at the least when it comes to married to medicine dr g and quad were married and dr g remarrying and his wife becoming part of his circle of friends some of whom are on married to medicine is a different vibe than what i think the love and marriage huntsville producers are trying for as it relates to this whole destiny sunny and moses storyline it's given very icky because that because sunny and um sunny and moses they don't have any ties to the cast outside of destiny who at the end of the day was not a cast member anymore until this whole storyline came into play tell me below guys if i'm making any sense leave a comment below so i know how you see things and for me it almost seems like they are rewarding martel for the legal troubles that he has i feel like for what the legal trouble is, DV in the third degree, harassing communications, and them knowing that he did, and he admitted this on Queen Sheba's interview, he did threaten to release Revenge P on Mel and everything that Mel has been going through as it relates to Marta, I feel like him being arrested should have been the final straw and they should have hit a pause on him being on the show. Now, I don't know if it's going to be that they're just going to show this little bit of him being arrested because they were filming at the time this occurred. However... If the case is that we're going to see his arrest and we're going to see that whole process, we're going to see him getting out and then they're going to talk about it the whole season and make Melody the villain because she reported him, then that's going to be some BS. And I'm going to be on YouTube and on Twitter and on Instagram when Melon for Melody, Okay. So I hope it's not going to be Destiny and Martel having a conversation talking about, yeah, your ex got you arrested and my ex got me arrested too. Like, if it's any of that, let me tell you, I don't know how to roast, but I'm going to have to learn so that I can drag Destiny for even wanting to compare the two situations. And it seems like Destiny's storyline is going to be the focus of the season because her name is in the headline 
of the press release, not any of the core members of the cast, but Destiny. And so that's very interesting to say the least. Now, this picture is very interesting to me. Y'all, um, it's nice to see all three ladies in a picture smiling. I'm sure Melody is a professional. She's going to take a good picture regardless. But I'm also wondering what the three OG ladies of Love and Marriage Huntsville are going to give. Are they going to give, you know, maturity? Are they going to give... My name is Bennett, and I'm not in it as it relates to Destiny's storyline with Sunny. Are they going to try to work to make sure that the cast and the storyline as it relates to all the women on the show is cohesive and not toxic? Because I don't want toxic mess this season. And it's looking like it's going to be toxic mess just based on the press release alone. Now, I also know how editing works when it comes to these photo shoots for reality TV. So, it might not even be that they all took this picture together. It could have been a situation where they took solo shots and then a little editing magic put them all in the picture together. So, yeah, y'all. Love and Marriage Huntsville is returning on May 4th. 876 Central on OWN. I'll definitely be watching. It's saying all will be revealed. It's given a lot of mess. It's given a lot of toxicity. I am going to be praying for Mel's mental health while she has to relive some of these scenes. I can't wait to see what's going to go down between Destiny and Sunny. I can't wait to see what this new couple is going to give. I don't care about the Scots and their um, investment property that's given a storyline so that they can deflect from some of the real stuff that's actually happening in their world. Um, we didn't see what Melody's storyline is going to present because the only thing they said is she's taking the girls on a girl's trip. But they obviously looked at Mel's mood board and said, we're doing black and white. Um, Chris and Nell, oh my god, I almost forgot about them. Chris and Nell Fletcher, they're going to be there. Nothing was said about their storyline. The focus was, it's going to be Destiny versus Sunny. That's what I got from the press release. And this is my initial reaction to to the press release. Oh, and I forgot, there's some love triangle between Stormy and Courtney. I mean, a mess. It's given Love and Marriage Huntsville new season is going to be a mess. So drop down below. Tell me if you're going to be watching. If you're not going to be watching, are you going to be tuned into the reviews? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, walk good. Bye.